Welcome to a new Webflow tutorial. Today we are looking at a small little scroll animation which reveals a title, a big title behind a section while you scroll into a new section. And this is one example here on my Mars Exploration website. And then I have another example here from the Oliver Garay's website, which is also the same technique. And you see that the title is coming up behind the previous section. And this is pretty easy and fast to do. And I will show it to you in three minutes. I start by selecting the title element directly, but you could also choose the diff uh, wrapper element of a title. And then I go into the interactions, click a scroll animation. I will name this one title behind section. And I leave the trigger like it is for now to show you some problems that can be coming up. And then we can add a new action step here or by double clicking on the timeline. I will name this one title scroll. And for the target element, we can leave the same as a trigger option. And then we want to animate from um, minus 110% in the Y direction, so minus 100% to where it is styled in the Webflow Designer. And when I now scroll, you see that it takes a really long time until the animation ends. And the reason is that right now the scroll trigger here is set to end when the bottom of the element here reaches the top of the viewport. So we can set this one to maybe 70%. And when you now hover over this information icon, you can also see that it's now ending when the element bottom reaches 70% of the viewport. And now the scroll animation should end uh, way faster. We can also turn off the smoothness here because what I want is kind of like the same scroll speed, like the dark background color here. And then it gives us the illusion that the background is above the title element and it's kind of the position sticky bottom setting. But to make it a little bit better, we now have to go back into our action step and then we can delay the animation maybe a bit and also make it a little bit longer, maybe 0.5. And then we can also see a little bit white space here and until the element is fully visible and then it keeps scrolling within the viewport. And I also use the same animation type with a darker background in this project here. It feels a little bit different and maybe a little bit more uh, mysterious. And when we have a look here at the animation, I basically choose the same, like uh, animating it from the Y direction in minus 110. And then also the opacity has a little bit of a delay here. And then in this project, I also animated the next uh, wrapper element and this is going from 10 rem to zero. And if you wonder how to integrate a title element like this, that's growing like a VW unit, but it's a stops growing when the container element here is uh, reached its maximum width. And therefore you can do this by giving your container element a combo class. In my case, it's container type inline size. And only this element here gets the container type inline size property. And then you can use a different unit here on the text element, which is contain, container query width. And then you have to tweak the value here a bit. Uh, it depends on the length of the wording here. It's growing like a VW unit, but then it stops growing when the container is reaching its full width. And that's what I want here for my layout. So I think this is a super nice and easy to use a scroll animation just a little tweak between um, different uh, sections and this makes it a little bit more interesting when a new section is coming up. Mm -hmm.